and I'm looking up slang terms from the early 90s. About to bounce over to the pond. Totally gonna be bugging when you see all the fish we're gonna catch today. Come on, that's a pretty good one. He's still on. There we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Be Fishing. And well, I'm having to do some research on my phone here. And I'm looking up slang terms from the early 90s so I can help what we're doing today along a little bit. We're about to bounce over to the pond. It's gonna be super fat. Um, you're totally gonna be bugging when you see all the fish we're gonna catch today. Um, so home skillet, hang tight, and uh, let's get right into it. I ho hope I covered all that. Wow. I sh probably shouldn't have done that. That was super corny. But either way, what we're doing today is I've got a fishing kit from the early 90s. This is the FLW 101 piece sampler kit from the Walmart FLW Tour. Anybody remember when Walmart was the sponsor of the FLW Tour? We're talking 90s stuff here. So all the soft plastics in there are from the early 90s. And what we have, a ruffle fry, that's like a ring fry basically. A six inch lizard, we got some chunks, we got some hooks, uh, we've got, it says one box, thanks. A 10 jerk shad, 30 seven and a half inch worms, seven tubes, and five weights. It's 101 pieces is what it says, and they're including the box. So 100 pieces of tackle plus the box. So we're gonna try to go out to my pond over here, and we're gonna see if we can't lay down on some fish, fishing with most everything out of there. There's gonna be some things I doubt I'm gonna be able to uh, to use. We're gonna to try to use all of it. I'm gonna bring a jig just so I can use those chunks. Let's go. We're gonna to try to use our uh, 90s terms today since we're fishing with this 90s kit. So we're about to uh, crack this kit open. Oh, look how old that tape is. Look at that. Tape is so old. It was actually made by the Man's Bait Company, so that's in Eufaula, Alabama. And uh, I've got several of these retro kits. I've got an uncle that used to do printing, uh, like label printing for all of those companies. And he's got tons of these kits. So here's what we're looking at. We've got those tubes, we've got the chunk trailers. Those are big chunks. But I think we can make those work on the jig I've got. Got a couple of worms. They're actually in pretty good shape. Uh, just like some regular pumpkin. There's, or that's actually a green pumpkin. Pumpkin with a chartreuse, black with a pink tail. There's our tubes, our little jerk flukes. Again, some of these we're not gonna use, um, or at least probably not gonna use. Um, I may try to figure out a way. Some lizards, and we got these like little ring fries, and some green and chartreuse, and some actual chartreuse. All right, so let's rig up. I'm gonna start with the uh, green pumpkin. We're gonna start with the worms and just work our way down. Sound good? That's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna skin hook you a little bit. I bit it down just a little bit too. We're gonna see if we can't get bit. Hold on now. Got him. Got him. Now, well, there's at least one. We've cleared the green pumpkin worm, which is probably gonna be the easiest thing today to clear. There you go, little fella. Little, little guy. Thanks, buddy. Green pumpkin worm, done. All right, let's stay on that worm path. Let's try the black with the pink tail. And then we'll switch to some lizards. Do the same thing I did with that worm. I'm gonna bite it down just like a little bit, not a whole lot. It almost looks kind of purple in the right light. That could just be my eyes playing tricks on me, though. I didn't know I'm actually colorblind, so I get a lot of colors mixed up. Or it could have been black at one point, and now it's purple. Or it could have been purple at one point, and now it's black. You never know, it's from the 90s. But it's got me totally bugging. All right, I'm done playing games. We gotta change this weight out. 
no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's gotta happen. That's a pretty good one. That's not a bad one. I like that. I like that a lot. That was only like two or three pitches after after we uh, changed the weight. That weight size really matters, getting that fish. All right, that purple and pink, or black and pink, whatever it is, is done. Nice, solid, fat little fish. Done. I think we should be should be pretty easy to go with this pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. And then we can move into the lizards. The only ones I'm not probably gonna be trying are like the chunks. I mean, I, I just hate chunk trailers anyway. Worm on. I think we're gonna move to the lizards next after the worms. And we'll try for that ring fry. Yep, felt that bump. Got another one. All right, the worms are done. I damaged you a little bit, buddy. You're gonna be all right though. Sweet. All right, so that pumpkin with chartreuse tail, done. Bye, buddy. We're done with all the worms. Worms, check. Those, those trays are done. Let's go over here and throw the same thing. Let's throw this pumpkin. Those are the only two colors we have. They, they loaded up on worm, worms in here. They've got like a, a green lemon pepper type thing and then like a, a pumpkin with a chartreuse tail lizard. All right, let's start with the pumpkin and the chartreuse tail. Go into the, the nose of this thing a pretty good bit. And come out the neck only doing that so I can really I call it choking up it's like a baseball term for any of y'all who play baseball where you choke up on the bat so I can choke up on the bait so when these fish bite it that hook is a little bit further down so they only have to intake so much of it otherwise I'm gonna miss a lot of fish I just just get the feeling so the fish back here in this back corner are a little bit more aggressive. And these guys have hit it on the grass line. They have not hit it with me pitching in. All right, so that's three fish. Like, at minimum, three more to go. I would like at least three more to call this a success. Um, but I really like to get almost everything in there done. I just don't know that I'm going to be able to make it happen. Cause I've got about an hour left. Come on, we gotta have a swamp monster back here, huh? That's big. Come on. Get out of there. I'm not sure I got him anymore. No, I still got him on. He's still on. There we go. There we go. Just getting him out of that grass. Whew. All right. There we go. We got us one of them swamp monsters. Or at least a baby one. There we go. On the pumpkin chartreuse lizard. This guy right here. Whew. You had me in the cabbage, son. Had me in the cabbage. Drop them in the stuckweed. That's fun. It's always exciting when you get them caught in the grass like that because you never know if you've actually still got them on when you get over there. All right, choking up on the bait was a good, a good idea. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna keep pitching around back here because I think that's the first one we've caught in the grass, and I don't think that's gonna be the last one. Hmm. This may prove to be very challenging. And I complete. The challenge has now become, by the way, can I catch six fish? 
with the baits. I can't use the same bait twice. But can I catch six fish? Hopefully y'all are cool with that. Me ditching trying to catch a fish on every bait. Just trying to catch six. You ain't cool with that, well. You've made it this long, you might as well finish it. I'd like to thank the wind for today's ridiculousness. Bite. Oh, I got a bite. It's always what I'm going to readjust to. How about that? All right, let him take it, let him take it, let him take it. Set on him. And I missed him. I missed him. He never even got to the hook. Like, the hook's not even... Not even out. He just had the tail carrying around the tail. Which is why I wanted to wait. And I waited. I felt like a fair amount. I mean, I can't argue if I'd have waited any longer. Have been bad if he was bigger he could have engulfed the whole thing but look, look how fast we're moving another bite he got it he's swimming toward me yeah he's got it oh he got it he inhaled it he may be trouble he swam toward me with it this one may be trouble Yep, this one's going to require some surgery. You're going to be all right, buddy. You took that one pretty deep. All right, let's get rid of the worm. Let's get the worm out of the way. I'm going to start going to work here. A little bit of blood already clotting. There you go, folks. There you go, just a little fella. He's already clotting. His throat already looks a lot better. He got all his faculties back. We're gonna go ahead and let him go over here. And he kicked right off. There you go. A little gut hook just brought that pliers right through his gills. Old school way to do it. I'm sure they did it the same way in the 90s. We've got some decisions. I'm gonna try to fish this ring fry. One of these ring fries. We're done with both lizards. We're done with all of the worms. All we've got left is the crazy stuff, you know, the tubes. We're not fishing for smallmouth. Probably not the way to go for that, although they do catch largemouth. We've got the chunk trailer, although the chunk's pretty big. I could fish it on that jig, just don't know if it's going to work. I think I can get bit on this pretty easy on a drop shot. I'm just going to cut that tail off. Um, we're going to try this just for a minute first, though. Now I'm going to rig this Texas rig style, but I'm going to tell you that this bait was probably one of the first baits you could wacky rig and get the shimmy. Ring fries have been around for a long time. And uh, before the Senko was the Senko, the ring fry was the deal. Oh, what a failure I am today. So, I wanna thank all y'all for hanging out with me, but we were only able to get five on the old FLW fishing kit this early 1990s fishing kit, through which honestly all the worms are actually in really good shape. It's just, I wasn't able to pull it off. I tried drop shot and I tried that little ruffle fry. It just didn't work out. But I wanted to get six. We only got five and we did it on the worms and the lizards, which shocker, like that wasn't gonna happen. But I tried to get it on there. You guys saw, just couldn't make it happen. The wind was not my friend today. The fact that I did not wake up early this morning probably hurt me too because we got out there at 10 o'clock and I needed to be back at home by 12 and it is 12:35. so I gave it the old college try and that that happens that happens with a lot of us I think a lot of the youtubers that keep fishing and fishing and fishing and fishing and fishing until they get what they're after that's not realistic when you hop to other ponds and different places that's not realistic what I just did right there is realistic you get on a certain bite that worm and lizard pretty much anything with that curly tail they were after if it didn't have a curly tail they really didn't care for it that's just the name of the game today, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button below, and uh, join join the fam. Join the bee fishing fam. And if you liked doing the retro fishing kits, I've got, I shouldn't say retro, I should say like vintage or early 1990s. And I know that sounds crazy to say vintage, early 1990s, but that was about 30 years ago, folks. I want y'all to realize that a lot of y'all weren't even born yet. But if you wanna see more of those, I've got two more that are absolute 
I mean, they're, they're awesome. They're awesome kits. Uh, we just need to get out on the water and do them. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. And uh, yep, that's going to do it for today's video. I will catch you on the next one. Later.